Hey guys, I tried to make this PayPal credit thing one video, but it would be way too long. And I don't want to lose anybody because I wouldn't watch a video this long on PayPal credit. No way myself. So I know y'all not going to do it. So these videos will have to be broken up. I think this section, this might be like part two of the video. And this will be like frequently asked questions on the last PayPal credit video. And I'm just going to like go through them for you guys. Verbally telling you my answer the previous video is about my updated experience with paypal credit and how i applied and you know me rambling about that so yeah let's get started for real number one or whatever the video sounds encouraging but doesn't seem to inform people about the how to so I said, go to the paypal.com website, click on the credit tab, and apply. In brackets, enter your personal information, and within that day, you'll be notified if you're allowed to use PayPal credit. Now, if they changed it since the time I applied, then I'm not sure on the how to. Like I said, I applied for my PayPal credit and got approved about a year and a half ago. I found out that day that I was approved, and I found out that my credit limit would be $500. So I'm not sure if it's changed since then because there's no reason for me to reapply. So I don't know the how, the new how to because I don't need to reapply. My account is still open. Um, I'm really not sure what else to say about that. You go to the PayPal website. <laughs> you go to paypalcredit.com and you click on the credit tab or apply tab or whatever you put in your personal information and you'll be you know notified if you get approved or not and if you do get notified that you're approved it'll have like basic information about interest and payment deadlines and you know how to pay all of that good stuff when you get approved and it'll tell you about your credit limit and all that that's it next question or statement never use credit just turned 18 it says it can make I think she meant I it says I can't make a PayPal credit account at this time when I try to apply but I need a bank account is this a credit history thing or is there a problem with PayPal at the time all of the above I don't know <laughs> like I don't think it's a PayPal credit issue because I've never had their website crash on me or like tell me I couldn't do XYZ um, there is a square on the website that will tell you PayPal credit or PayPal the official website will not be available for use on November 28th because of maintenance updates or something like that so it very well could have been something like that i don't know i told the person to go ahead and call paypal and see let them verbally tell you what's going on now if you don't have a bank account i don't think they will ever let you open up an account because what's the way what way are you going to get paid you know if you have bad credit then if your credit is that bad that they're not going to let you open up another account then that's just what it is like you have to work on rebuilding the credit that you already have so you probably shouldn't even be worried about paypal credit to be honest um what else did you say yeah the whole bank account thing i think you can pay with a check like you can send them a check i don't think you can send cash but you can go online go to your account on paypal credit and then you know pay there through however form of payment you want to pay whether that's debit or straight from your bank account but if you don't have any bank account i don't think they're gonna let you do that next question how does this exactly work let's say i want to buy something that's a hundred dollars after i buy the item i have six months to pay back one hundred dollars in payments is there any extra charges even if I pay on time? After I pay back the item fully, do I still need to be paying PayPal every month? If you pay if you pay back the item fully, there's nothing to pay. Like 
If you bought, okay, let me make up a scenario. Today is the 28th, November 28th. They gave you a $500 credit limit. You went ahead and bought something off eBay that's $100. Starting the 28th of this month, the next five months, that's when you will need to start paying your items off. So the 28th, this is November, here comes December, you want to make a payment, you're going to make a payment of $25 or $50 or uh, you just want to pay the whole $100, come December, then that's it. Your credit limit is back to $500. See? I wish I had like a little chart. So your credit limit was $500. You just bought something for $100. That brought your credit limit down to $400. So these next few months you want to pay it off. December comes, you want to pay off the $100 item completely. You give them one give them their $100. Your credit limit went back up to $500. Come January, you don't owe them anything because your credit balance is at a zero. You don't owe them anything because your credit limit is at 500. I hope that makes sense. I feel PayPal is behind the camera holding a gun to your head, laughing my fucking ass off. <laughs> Why do you look so nervous? You're saying it cool, but your eyes are saying don't do it. <laughs> I don't feel like I look nervous in that video at all. Um, my wig is definitely pushed too far back, but other than that, I'm straight. At least someone answered it without the extra nonsense. This saved me time and effort trying to buy something over $2,000. I'm a noob. A newbie, I guess. I'm a new, but I'm sure you can get your credit up to 2000 probably starting off unless you always pay back on time. Maybe they'll rise it. Raise it. My only issue is I'm trying to get it now instead of waiting a week. LOL. Um, <laughs> I said thanks for watching. Um, I appreciate the comment, to be completely honest. Yeah, you... It's based on your credit history. So them giving me five hundred dollars, that means I don't. E I either have bad credit or I don't have enough experience with credit. Which I don't have enough experience with credit. I don't open credit cards like that. I don't use credit. This is really my biggest form of credit. So they wanted to make sure that I could, you know, make the payments and not be overwhelmed with how much credit limit was. With how much the credit limit is. So, yeah, you can't really raise it yourself. You'll have to work on your credit to get it to be a higher credit limit. Somebody else said, when I use my credit, do I have to pay it all at one time? What's the minimum balance? The minimum balance is 25 and you don't have to pay it all in one time. But within those six months, come November, December, January, February, March, April, have whatever item, have whatever item paid off because you might get interest fees I didn't but I mean like I said I pay a minimum of 25 on the monthly on the monthly monthly great video very helpful I signed up today and only got $500 in credits which I'm happy about but I was hoping to get more credits like at least a thousand to pay for flights and hotels for a vacation overseas so I wonder do you know how to get more PayPal credits you cannot get pay, more PayPal credits. When he said, I kind of laughed, not laugh at him, but when he said credits, like how to get more, it's not like how to get more tokens. It's based off your credit history. So whatever they want to allow you to spend, that's it. You can't raise it, you know? So again, you have to work on your payment, um, not your payment, your credit to get, you know, a bigger credit limit. Like you can't say, can you raise my credit to credit limit to a thousand? Now, if that happens, just know that your minimum balance will probably be more than twenty-five dollars. It could easily be, you know, fifty, seventy-five dollars, maybe even a hundred. Because the higher the credit limit, the bigger the payment will be. Boy, what you talking about? How do you get? How do you go about getting approved? I said, I'm not sure, it may be because you haven't gained enough credit history. And then she said, oh, I thought it may have been because I had student loans. It could be, I mean, I got hella student loans, but they still approved me. 
So again, that's just something personal. You can make sure you go ahead and call PayPal Credit to get, you know, further details. Thanks, useful info. I have $400 credit, credit limit. What if I don't want to spend it? Do I have to pay fees, interest, or do they only apply once you've done some of the credit? Thanks from London. I want to visit London so bad. Um, like I said, the minimum is $25. I've been paying twice a month, so that's $50 a month. And I haven't paid any interest. When I use my PayPal credit, how much is the minimum? Do you have to pay it off at one time? So everybody's asking pretty much the same question. You don't have to pay it off all at once. You have the six months to pay off the item. Um, whatever your credit limit is, that will be based off your Whatever your credit limit is, that will directly affect your minimum balance or minimum payment amount for the month. Thank you everybody that watched the last video. I appreciate it. I feel like I'm going to regret saying this, but if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them below and I'll try to answer them to the best of my abilities.